Hello everybody, my name is Isaiah Crow, and this is... Irene Castrita. I myself, I am a muralist, a storyteller, and a workshop facilitator. And Irene is... <laughs> I'm a vegan chef, I love to nurture and feed others uh, via healthy, vibrant, plant-based meals, an educator, and a mother. So we just finished the Cross-Cultural Center mural in Cal State San Marcos. Uh, behind it is a portion of it that you can see. Uh, and we, we want to talk to you a little bit about how it went down, what it is we did, and how we came to this outcome. Our methodology. Our methodology really starts with uh, bringing people together, building community via delicious, nutritious food. And Irene can tell us a little bit about that. So, so for this project, I created meals for every single workshop. Everything was vegan and heavily uh, plant-based. So a lot of colorful, fresh ingredients uh, so that we can then create something like this, something so colorful uh, we can tap in via food because food is also energy. Okay, and then what was the next thing we did? So uh, as part of every workshop, uh, we would obviously start off with a meal and then we would then guide the students into an introspective workshop. So we'd yeah. ask questions as of uh, like, what's my purpose? What am I grateful for? And really just tapping into ourselves. Um, I think the food was a way to tap into like our body, uh, how to like take care of our being, and then now take it a little bit deeper and asking these deeper questions. What's my purpose? What am I grateful for? Um, what things do I need in my life? You know, who do I love? What do I love? And kind of really sharing that with each other. So what ends up happening is that students become aware of what the other students are sharing. And what they see is that no matter the color, no matter the race, no matter the class, it, it doesn't matter. We all have usually something in common or we all have gone through something similar. And that's when we start learning about compassion. Then we start learning about forgiveness. And then we start learning about clarity. And it's all done through just we're journaling and we're sharing and we're voicing where we're at in life. Another important aspect of this is that we talk about who we want to be in life, right? What is our life purpose? And with that, we start with affirmations. And you can talk a little bit about the affirmations. Yeah, so the question was, what do we need more of in our life, you know, and uh, or what do we also value in our life? And so how does that translate into affirmations? So it was really empowering and beautiful to hear students talk about, well, you know what, I need more love or I am love or our health or pride or mindfulness, kindness. And then this dialogue uh, between all the participants is really beautiful because then we all start looking within and being like, I need more of this in my life and this is what I welcome into my life. And to really kind of sitting down and talking about that was really empowering. Yeah. And it was really empowering to hear the students. Nobody said, I need more money. Nobody said, I need more books. No, people were like, I need more patience. I need more laughter. I need more joy. And in reality, when we look at life, like those are the things that at the end of the day, if we are happy, if we are patient, if we are peaceful, that will carry us through everything. Moving on, as the canvases were on the floor, there were a total of five large canvases that the students could paint on. Um, I just gave them the direction of, hey, here's the paint, grab your color, the, your choice, and paint your affirmation, right? On their own, they started creating their own pattern. There was no method to this. There was no like, you need to paint from here to here. It was nothing like that. It was like, here you go, go paint. And once the, all the canvases were painted with affirmations, what we did is we stood back and we what we saw was patterns. So you see words that went diagonal, other words that went across, other words that went up and down. Some of them were written backwards. Patterns but they were all positive patterns. Yeah. So us as being the, the artists, the visionaries, and we, all we did was we amplified those patterns because they're already positive. But what we did is via color and transparencies, we used them to then color. So see, there's a diagonal line, a green line behind me, see? That's because the pattern started from uh, 
somewhere or it originates where the words were going at a diagonal. All we did was extend that line mm -hmm. and continue that color. Okay. <clears throat> I thought that was really, really powerful and beautiful because yeah. there was no, it was about trusting. Yeah. It was about trusting the alignment of everybody. And then it just came together. So moving on. The last thing, which was? Uh, I says connected with some of the students that were part of the process and he took pictures of them kind of acting out the affirmations, um, which were then translated into the painting. Well, and I think it's also important that the students see a reflection of themselves, not just the physical, but like the energy that we carry, mm -hmm. the layers that we have, uh, the different colors. You know, you can see from the, the painting behind me, half of her is one color, the other half is another color. But as you get closer, you see a million other colors mm -hmm. and energy frequencies. And that's really what we are. We're these like multi-layered, faceted beings that have so much light and beauty. We're physical. We're also mental. We're spiritual. You know, we're magical. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was really important to convey that in this mural. The main principles were, let's go to Cal State San Marcos, work with these students to nurture, uplift, empower, inspire, learn, grow, listen. listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We did that like in yeah, synchronicity. Because you know what? A lot of times, I think a lot of times as educators, we think, oh, well, we're here to teach you. No, we're here to learn too. Yeah, you and, know? and importantly, and like we said, listen. We're listening to the students and, and, and we heard you. We heard the people that attended, the students that attended, the faculty that attended. We heard you and we understood, you know, and... We didn't take that, your concerns or, or your points of views, your perspective. We didn't take that lightly, you know, and um, we embraced that. We absorbed it and we then we channeled it onto this mural. And then, you know, to close this up, uh, if you look at the, the faces, they're, they're, they are semi-transparent. And part of that is that's the way we designed it. So that way you can semi-read the affirmation still. We don't want to lose the work of the students. Again, this was a student-driven project. We mm -hmm. wanted their voices, their words, their affirmations to be seen and felt and heard and read. Yeah. So the portrait style that I created is it's just lines creating the faces. Those lines then create shapes, and then those shapes are then colored by the colors in the background, see? So it's all engineered for the sole purpose that we all bloom from this power of love, that we are love generators. Yeah, love generators. <laughs> you know, and, and this mural is going to be displayed inside the Cross-Cultural Center. And from the time we were there, the Cross-Cultural Center is a space where kids go to, not kids, students go to like, take a break from school or to go yeah. work on schoolwork or to have just a safe space to be, uh, to recharge. So now with having this mural there, this energy vibration, these affirmations, like I want the students to get pumped every time they walk in there and be like, yeah, I'm a love generator. <laughs> when you're feeling tired and be like, you know what? I do have peace and I do have patience and I am powerful. Yes, these are beautiful reminders. Uh, and so hopefully that carries through, you know, yeah, I mean, our aim is for it to be a reflection, to be a mirror of all the power that we created those days that we were there, that they still, that this piece continues to give that, to remind those that view it of the power that we all have within, but sometimes we forget. Yeah, most definitely. Lastly, I just want to say thank you to Floyd, uh, thank you to Daniela, thank you to Marilyn, and everybody that participated, everybody that made this project happen, I want to thank my wife, Irene, for her delicious food, Irene's Kitchen. Um, and I want to thank myself, too. I think that we all, um, that this type of work is very important, and I'm, I'm grateful, and I feel, we feel humbled and blessed that uh, Cal State San Marcos uh, hired us to do this project, to spearhead this project with the students. So thank yes. you all. We're here for you guys. Thank you.